Good morning students. In last class we learned page layout tab, then themes group. In themes groups are used to apply the themes for your entire MS Word window. Second one is page setup. This option is used to set the page before take the printouts. Here the first option is margin. So there are four margins are available left, top, right and bottom. We can set it here or when you click on drop down button different margins are available. So according to the user need you can set the margins or if you want to create your own margin setting then click on custom margin option. Then two orientations are available that is portrait and landscape where we have to move the page to vertical as well as in a horizontal way. Then third one is size. So this option is used to select the page on which we have to take the printout. So in which paper we have to take the printout for that one we have to select the paper. If I want to take the print on A4 size you can select A4. If I want to take in legal size you can select the legal. Then if I want to convert the paragraph into number of columns on the time you click on columns option. So here 1, 2, 3 left and right options are available. So normally this option is used to convert a text into number of columns normally which we can view in uh, magazines as well as in the newspaper. Next one is breaks. When we click on breaks options, three options are available. Section break, then page break and column break. Section break is used to divide the page into number of sections. And page break option is used to move the text to the next page. If I want to move the text, that is second paragraph to the next page instead of pressing enter button what you can do is that place the cursor at the beginning of this paragraph then click on breaks option then click on page break option which we have learned in earlier classes. Next one is column break. So it is used to convert the columns into two three or four columns then we can move the text from one column to another column. Next one is hyphenation option. This option is used to make the uniform spacing between the words. Next one is a page background. First one is watermark. Watermark is the transparent image which appears backside of each page. Transparent image. So select any one of the options here. Then if you want to display your own text then click on custom mark option and type the text there and to remove the watermark just click on remove watermark option. Next one is page color. This option is used to apply the color for the entire page. Here font color is there then text highlight color is there and page color is there. So in home tab first one is font color. So it is used to apply the color for the font. This one. The text highlight color is that we can highlight the text. See. And here page layout option, page color option is used to apply the color for the entire page. Next one is page border. Page borders op options are used to apply the borders for the entire page or you can apply different arts also and one more option is there their border. So border option is used to apply the border for the paragraph or any one image or any tables. Page border consisting of two options there. First one is borders. So borders options are used to apply the borders for text means paragraph then any one image or any table. Then page border option is used to apply the borders for the entire page 
here you can apply different arts also but we can't apply this art option for the borders then shading option is used to apply the shadings for the entire page see so this type of shadings will appear next one is paragraph this option is used to align the paragraphs so you can apply the indents four indents are there that is first line indent which is used to move the first line to the right side remaining lines are as it is second one is hanging indent here first line remain as it is remaining lines are moved to the right side so i will show here so place the cursor then click on first line indent here first line moves remaining lines are as it is now i will take it back second one is hanging indent is there here if i move the hanging into the right side here first line remain as it is remaining lines are hanging to the first line now the third one is third one is left indent so it is used to move the left indent means entire paragraph to the right side so wherever you want you can set it if i want as it is you can move it and last one is right indent which is used to move the paragraph to the left side these options we can apply in paragraph dialog box also just click on this paragraph button here indents and spacing options are there we can apply the alignments that is left uh, center right and justify we can apply the line spacing options it is used to put the space between the lines single line spacing is there 1.5 is there double is there so whichever you want you can apply that one so these options are available in home tab and paragraph group also here again four alignments are there align to text to left center right and justify then you can apply the line spacing option so either you can apply page layout tab then paragraph dialog box button or you can apply home tab and paragraph group option and select any one of the commands now we will move to the last group that is arrange here we can view all the commands are in a de highlighted way so if i want to apply that one what i have to do is that so just click on insert button then click on clip part option then here search for you can apply any one of the text i will i want to insert flower search for flower and click on go option then insert that image here now what i will do is that so i will apply the text beside this image so how to do that one so the click on page layout tab here position option is there select with the text wrapping if i select it in this way on that time image will be on the left side text will be on the right side if i selected the second option here text will be on the left and right side image will be on the middle and if i selected the last one here image will be on the right side and text will be on the left side same way different options are available if you select this option here image will be in the middle and text will be around this image same way different options are available whichever you want you can select it now here text wrapping option is there it is used to move the text over that image here in front of text if i select it in front of text so image will be on the front side text will be on the back side and if i selected behind text here 
image will be on the back side and text will be on the front side so these are the different text wrapping options this wrap the text then square option is there here what happens is image be in this way and text comes here then if there are two images and if i want to move that one so what i will do is that so first i will insert one more image here okay now i want to move this image over this flower on that time text wrapping you can apply square or anything same way apply square or anything now here if i move the text here on that time this image will be over that previous image and if i want to move this one back side on that time what you can do is that send it to back can easily view that one we will apply behind text so in this way it comes so which option you want you can select it next one is that align option where we can align the images on any one of the alignments that is if i want to align the image on the left side you can apply it left side if i apply it on right side you can apply it to the right side so whichever you want you can select it next one is grouping so this one is totally different one so what i will do is that i will remove the page color i will make it as no color then click on insert then i will apply one shape here one more i shape okay. if i want to resize this image what i will do is that so i will place the cursor at the bottom of this one and i will resize it same way second option same way third option if i want to do all the things at a time if i want to reshape this one at a time on that time just press shift button and click on first of shape second of and third one is already selected now you press the left mouse button and you can drag it automatically it reshapes resizes to all the images instead of selecting shift button what we can do is that we can apply group option and click on group option here group drop down button and click on group now if you drag any one image automatically all images will be resized this is about the grouping so grouping option is used to resize more than one shapes at a time and last one is the rotate option here i will insert one image then i will apply this rotate option so rotate so rotate left side rotate vertical flip horizontal rotate right side so whichever you want you can apply that one so this completes the page layout tab so thank you one and all